Well, it is the uh, late doe rifle season for antelope, and uh, Jeb got one yesterday, day before Fred shot a mountain lion. And so uh, Fred and I are out here hoping to get one on the last day of the season. It's a five day season, great meat. Antelope, doe antelope are amazing to eat. So uh, we're looking to take some more meat home. Well, we had spotted some antelope a few miles out and we were cutting the distance with the truck. And of course, what do we see? A beautiful furred up coyote. You talk about Lucky, that coyote had no idea who was in that truck. He doesn't know how lucky he is because we're hunting antelope right now. And even though we're using the suppressor, we don't want to mess it up. But I think maybe Fred needs to come out here and do a little coyote management. Well, my dad always taught me to be a stickler about accuracy and not to shoot unless I'm sure I can make the shot. So we had our rifles dialed in with Hornady bullets. We're using Leupold CDS dials so you could dial the range and hold dead on when me and Michelle went out for our antelope. The biggest thing with shooting accurately in the field to me is having a solid rest. The biggest thing that causes misses is not being able to hold the gun steady, especially when you're hyperventilating or the adrenaline's coursing because you're so excited that you're about to hopefully get a shot. So on this hunt, we decided to take the bog death grip to give us a real solid platform so it was just like shooting off a bench. We had sighted the rifle in using the bog death grip, so that's how we were gonna hunt. Holdover is a pretty tricky game when you're making a shot much over 250 yards. One inch, trying to guess that at 300, 400, or even 500 yards is pretty hard to gauge. Six to eight inches, well, that's even harder to gauge. So once we had the range, we were able to dial in the exact yardages that both mine and Michelle's antelope were standing at so we could make quick, clean kills. Well, you, got her. you got her. Done. You got her. Good job, honey. Holy crap! Yeah, that is a long shot. <sighs> 435 <laughs> antelope down. Oh, you smoked it. Mine goes down. They have no idea what's going on. Yours starts coming back. I give you the range. What was yours? 504? 510, I think. Five, I, five, I, you I think said it was 504. It you said so this. I, I adjusted the loophole. That's, what, that's what's great. We got the long range precision turret. I adjusted it. That's spending a lot of time on the range. You're set up on the death grip. The death grip. So the brand new bog death grip, you were set up, you that's were comfortable, so cool. and you smoked that antelope. Nice shooting, baby. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Mr. Death Grip. I say we go to mine first. Since it's it was closer. closer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was kind of... <laughs> right. It's been a busy week, really. You okay. shot, you know, I shot an antelope. You shot an antelope. Jeb shot an antelope yesterday. Day before that, shot a mountain lion. <laughs> Right hunters. before that, I was guiding deer hunters. Yep. Now we're going to go over and take a look at Michelle's antelope. Then, of course, we're going to get a picture for the photo album for, uh, for the boys and for us. Well, here's the two beautiful antelope we just shot here in southern Colorado. And I'm Fred Eichler. And I'm Michelle Eichler. And you're watching Everything, Everything Eichler. Eichler.